hello friends very good evening uh, today i am going to show you how to configure disk space alert for all the drives where you are going you have installed sql server sometimes uh, when we are working as a type 3 we need to configure disk space reports for the sql server for the servers where sql server has been installed sometimes a uh, client will ask you uh, like, uh, saying that uh, why we are getting the tickets for each and every event threshold come right so why don't you add all the tickets all the servers uh, into one email and so that whenever it is new very near to the 10 percent we can add fire 10 percent so to uh, so in one shot we one we can work for all the system or for all the sql servers so for that uh, first uh, identify the servers and uh, only the servers i'm not talking about sql server instances so you need to paste the host names of the sql servers okay so directly i'm giving the dc node 1 and node 2 okay so i'm just selecting that so node 1 node 2 doesn't have an internet node 3 is having internet okay so here so one thing i need to address here this is the report okay so what do you need to do here you just you just create the server list and paste the all the servers one by one okay now coming to the code okay so here what are the changes that you need to do from your end okay so here i am not having smtp in real time you may have smtp if you have smtp you just remove this um, hash and this one email okay you just remove that and you can give the respective email address here okay and respective smtp here and first list the server uh, here we are you need to list that uh, server's id notepad and you are going to where you need to save the html file server disk space html but as of now as of now i don't have html to simulate that net, uh, net uh, real time environment i am passing i am sending that attachment using another uh, i mean same powershell but i am passing the pa parameters so what if you are having smtp then what are the what are the things that i highlighted this from 13 to 24 you can remove that this is not required okay so to simulate that one i am using this one okay so this one so this is the service list this is the where you are going to save the file path and this is that uh, from using this email id it is sending the email to this email okay this is the uh, subject body and here you need to give the password for security reason i am not uh, i mean i am asking this okay so i will type separately and i will uh, drag i will drag like this i will i don't want to show that password right so for example if it is 10% it will show red mark if it is 15 percent it has show warnings so you can do that warnings and everything okay so i will type my i will type my password so that's it so now click enter click execute now whatever you you may see sometimes error that uh, disk space uh, file is in use don't worry it is common error just so that's one so don't worry about this this is all i mean normal so this one this query is common why because uh, it is going to have put the data and everything so this is common ignore that not required either finally our still it is in processing so meanwhile if anybody go to this file got generated here not yet generated see modified time was later old one now currently 541 time is there it has to be modified just wait to get finish so unable to connect to the remote server that's okay 
still this is old report so let's delete that so it is saying that it is in use so i am copying this powershell.isc with run as administrator okay so make this press enter see that file got generated or not see the server is getting connected it is generating the information see sometimes even though you are having little knowledge but you need to understand that how the powershell is using and what are the changes that you need to done from your end to achieve your requirement your requirement so now go back see so space got generated just wait uh, wait for the email see got email oh i got two emails okay no problem so now three minutes ago 611 okay download that see uh, for dc i am having one drive so it is 89 percent is free space is there for node one i am having 58 percent free space for node two i am having 59 percent is uh, in that all are my virtual machines all are having c drive only okay so this is how you can configure the report and everything so once it is done i am going to dc so still it is in process but meanwhile it got sent that report and everything here what do you need to do here once it is done so save that ps script go to the task manager and you can execute whenever the system restarts it will get or you either you can schedule every day uh, to run this report Okay, and uh, you can mention the group DL in the emails. So that is that is how you can configure the disk space report in the real time. So since SMTP is not there, I have added man to give the username and current passwords manually. Thank you. I hope you may like this video. Bye.